marriage free. The day you and I accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, we got married to Him. However, the final marriage will come when Jesus Christ returns the second time. While we await the arrival of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we must be resolute and as much as possible bear fruit of the Holy Spirit. For as many as do not bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit on the second coming of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, they will not be part of the marriage. They will not be the body of Christ whom God will marry to Jesus Christ. People might find themselves finding it difficult to bear the fruit of the Spirit if they allow the devil to, one, harden their hearts. Jesus Christ talked about the parable of the sower. And there we found out that the soil that are hardened, that seed could not get into them. People could so harden their heart that the word of God, the word of God cannot get into their hearts, let alone for them to ever bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Another thing that the devil does to prevent us from finally marrying Jesus Christ is for him to make for there to be rock underneath our soil. That kind of soil Jesus Christ referred to as persecution. As a result of persecution, famine, nakedness, or any other previous thing that could come upon men, men shy away from professing Jesus Christ and get to the point where they don't even give back. They don't even produce the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So afraid do men become of persecution and famine that they do not bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The devil is the one that sends persecution, trying as much as he could to make man not to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, in order for man, when eventually Jesus Christ returns, not to have not to have him as part of his own body, marrying God, marrying God. Another thing that could stop people from bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which can stop them from being part of Jesus Christ, is the love of the things of the world. Jesus Christ referred refer to them as when tongues, when, when things grow among tongues. And these are the things of this world, things we see, we hear, we feel. These things could so, so be enticing, so much so that men, when they are enticed by those things, find themselves going far away from God. So far away from God that they no longer bear fruit of the Holy Spirit. Now, if you don't have the kind of heart that is receptive to the Word of God, you can never even talk about taking in the Word of God, let alone the Word of God having root in you, let alone the love alone you overcoming the love of the things of the world. Not to talk of even bearing fruit of the Holy Spirit. And those people that do not bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit are like the fig tree that Jesus Christ once saw one day when he was coming down from the mount. These people do not bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. They they bruise them. They 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 perform miracles. They speak Christ, but they cannot do what they speak. And those people that cannot do what they speak cannot bear fruit of the Holy Spirit. And since they cannot bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, just as Jesus Christ spoke, and that tree got dry, those people will be sent to hell fire. They will not be part of the body of Jesus Christ, because they do not bear fruit. And those that do not bear fruit, and will not be taken by Jesus Christ, are very much like the parable of the five ten badges. Five were good, five five were were foolish, five were not, were wise. People that are not found in the presence of God when Jesus Christ returns will not be part of the body of Christ. Will not be married to God Almighty. They won't be married to Jesus Christ. They won't be married because they were not found in the presence of God. The devil is doing everything, tooth and nail. He's trying to get us never to be in the presence of God. He takes us away from the presence of God by having us disobey God. When people disobey God, they won't be in a place where they can be in the presence of God. 
when Adam and Eve sinned against God, they were taken away and sent away from the presence of God. When Cain killed his own brother, he was driven away from the presence of God. People who are not in the presence of God when Jesus Christ returned can never be married to God Almighty through Christ Jesus. It is important that you and I should remain in the presence of God. And to remain in the presence of God entails our obeying His own word. When we obey His word, we start bearing fruit. And once we bear fruit of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ returns, as a result of our bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit, we become children of God. And being children of God, God Jehovah lifts us up and makes us His own body. So if you want to be married to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, you must bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, even as you remain in the presence of God. Father God Almighty, we want to remain in your presence. Give us everything that we need to obey your commandment. Give us everything that we need to bear fruit of the Holy Spirit, so much that you, when you come back, God Almighty, through Christ Jesus, will make us part of you. On our own, we cannot be that, but with you, by your grace, we can be what you want us to be, good enough for you to make us your body. We thank you because you've had a prayer, and you're going to do much more than we pray for, because we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen.